so here we go again everybody welcome back to another deck deep dive as we go into the new meta into the new patch and 8th infantry is back up there again infantry matters again artillery is solid as well and the m1 abrams got a big buff so yeah let's have a look on all of that what happened since we last looked at the stack and why the stack just like we, when we looked back at it the last time, is one of the top decks here again. Though for slightly other reasons back than back then. And let's start with the logistics tab as always, where we have 5 CVs, we have M35 supplies, and we have nice, pretty efficient UH-60 helicopter supplies as well. Not in their cost, but in their speed. And like getting 1000 supplies quickly to the front line is nice. And as you can sell them, I really like the... You, the Blackhawk supplies here. So those are pretty helpful. M35s do their job nicely as well. All of this helping here, getting you decent supply everywhere. Infantry tab is pretty good as well. M maybe the best when it comes to pure infantry power in the game. Um, they don't have IVs, which is their one weakness. Uh, you get some m 113s that will be taken here for some. And they have the 50 cal, which now can penetrate light vehicles armor though they take a lot of time to do that but they can deal damage to some light vehicles now uh, some lightly armored vehicles so that is nice mech rifles here also still great with the dragon 2 great long range atgm the normal mech rifles with the law great firepower now that firepower matters for infantry again m67 still fantastic quick can go around can deal damage to things on good ranges fire teams can go quickly around as well. The 84 here, nice combination with the flash, uh, which deals some decent amount of damage again as well. I'm still not sure between flash and engineer. Um, currently trying out the flash again. Might switch over to engineers. And then Heimat shoots in for just a lot of buddies. They do their job nicely. And then two toe twos, because you don't get Bradleys here. So I feel like you need the toe twos. And in some matchups you want to get the Ito and the toe two. But for now, I'm playing with two Toto teams here, as they can deal damage really nicely. And then, your special forces here, the Rangers in Blackhawks, they can get go behind enemy lines, they have 84, so they can wreak havoc there. They have good damage output as well with the Colts and the two MG, uh, MGs here, the two m 249s so a really strong infantry to have. And, yeah, the Jägerführer is a nice leader as well with the Caligus stuff, can deal with some light vehicles. Artillery? Pretty strong as well. We have some mortar teams here. And then we have the MLRS, which deals pretty good damage nowadays. And if you can supply them, firing against enemy infantry positions and so on, they can be quite nice. M109s, decent howitzers as well. So, pretty good, nice combination here in the artillery tab, doing their jobs all quite nicely. Tank tab, really quite strong. Uh, you get cheap light tanks with uh, better stealth than norm normally. With the Canoniac Panzers. They're not as spammable as they were back in the day, but you still get five a minute. So still, you nearly get all of them in two minutes. They have smokes, which separates them from some of the other cheaper tanks. And they have a decent rate of fire as well. Penetration and range, obviously, a bit of an issue here. But as ambusher tanks, they work quite nicely. And they can be kind of used as IFVs as well. Their HE damage is not fantastic, but it's still workable. The M60s here, relatively expensive. But good setup here as well with penetration and frontal armor, good accuracy. Ranged decently with 2100 meters, uh, but not great. Yeah, M60 is here doing their job quite well since the beginning. And then M1 Abrams here now with 2275 meters, so since they have the full range. They are back in business, pretty good cost uh, to efficiency ratio with 1715 here. Pretty good stats, you can afford them quite nicely together with infantry squad per minute or so. And then M1A1's obviously quite a heavy beast. If you need some heavy hitters, you'd go around with those. You could consider going for veterancy on the M1's. The veterancy curve is quite interesting, but I feel like you kind of want to take the 14 of those and roll, roam around with numbers. So that's what I'm doing here. Recon tab, you get some Bradleys. So I did lie to you there earlier, but uh, it's not the same as the ones for infantry transport. Nice recon unit here. Um, um, LRS and snipers coming around nicely as well. Currently, the optics here are not the exceptional optics 
are lying to you, guys. Uh, don't don't follow that. But they actually um, they actually are not all the same. Uh, that's because optics were buffed, but the uh, this didn't got changed accordingly. So as, as soon as that has been adjusted, that we will see the difference there again between all these. For example, the Jaeger optics don't have the same optics as snipers, but it there's no separation. They all got above the threshold for exceptional, as recon in general got buffed a bit in performance, and like optics of most units got buffed a bit in performance. Stingers, Eyehawks, and Chaparrals as the AA. Could consider pivots, um, but uh, with their current damage, they're quite nice. But I feel like Chaparrals are still really great. Eyehawks are fantastic from long range, and the Stingers just do their job really nicely. Fliege of Faust. I sometimes like, but not in this deck. If you still get enough stingers here, so I go with stingers. Helicopters, the cobras, they can do their job. Tow cobras here with Eidos and normal cobras flying around nicely, dealing damage. Now that they can't be strafed down as easily by planes anymore, they are a lot better again in my eyes. Though you have to be careful with man pets as they get two shotted and as bags can get them out of the sky quite nicely as well, so you have to be a bit careful, but they're not too expensive and they have a heavy punch. The 20mm auto cannon really helpful as well to deal with some light vehicles and so on. So I like the tow cobras, fast little units that you can bring into a breakthrough, and that is really helpful. And then in the air, you have a good amount of variety as well. You got some thunderbolts, get some wild weasels, which have some air to air missiles as well, uh, and some shrike. Seeds. I like those. I could change those out. Like, if I would change something out, I maybe would change those out against some more A10s or so. But I like to try to use them. Uh, the F16s, decent fighters. Uh, good long range missiles, good short range missiles. The gun is still meh. But, and the speed, yeah, and so on is also not fantastic in comparison to other fighters. They are as fast as the Wild Weasel, but some other fighters are faster. In general speed, obviously, of planes got reduced, but also their turn rate got in uh, improved, so planes now are smoother in the flight and not as hard to micro anymore, which is a good change. I still would like it to go up a bit more, like maybe go down to even 925 kmh or so, but make them turn a bit better even then, and then these, or 900 kmh, and then we go from there. That would be lovely, having the Fighting Falcon uh, be a bit smoother in the turn rate, but have all the speeds dropped a slight bit lo lower even, so that you can handle them. And then also missiles would arrive at the planes before they can drop the loadouts every single time, and that would be a nice thing as well. So talking about loadouts, you got the F-111 with the LGBs. Since LGBs went up in accuracy, they are really, really, really good, especially the fast ones like the F-111. And yeah, absolutely in love with this plane, so highly recommending using this. And yeah. This is the deck, we're gonna play it again, and yeah, let me know down below what is your favorite deck, and what is your favorite unit in 8th Infantry. Uh, yeah, 8th in my eyes, one of the top 3 for sure at the moment, and we're gonna have a look in the others over the next couple of weeks as well, my other top decks at the moment, and yep, yeah. see you next time guys, thanks for watching, it's great to be back.